This is Dr. Shakil Ahmed. Today I want to discuss the Doppler spectrum display and to understand what are displayed on a screen. In this image, the following information are presented. First of all, color flow image. The vessels, the sample of volume and the Doppler line of sight are shown in the color flow image at the top of display screen. This is the normal image. This is the window for the color flow. And this is the line which shows the gate of the flow for spectrum. Color flow information is shown in this image with color bar. And this shows the relationship between the direction of the blood flow and the color in the flow image. The upper half of the bar shows flow toward the transducer. And this is logical as this part of the bar is nearest to the transducer. The lower part or the lower half of this bar represents flow away from the transducer. Red and orange colors correspond to flow toward the transducer and blue or green color indicates flow in the opposite direction. A shift in color from red to the orange or from blue to the green represents increasing flow velocity. Another feature which is presented here that is the Doppler angle. The Doppler angle for the spectral Doppler appears at the upper right of the display screen. In here it is shown that the angle is 60 degree. Time is represented on the horizontal x-axis of the Doppler spectrum. This is a spectrum in this x-axis shows the time. In these are the division of the time axis in seconds. Velocity. Blood flow velocity is shown on vertical axis of this spectrum. On some instruments, the velocity is shown on one vertical axis and the Doppler shift frequency is shown on other vertical axis. But in this display, both are the same. Both are showing the velocity. The distribution of velocities within the sample volume is illustrated by the brightness of the spectral display. And this may be accepted as z-axis. The z-axis concept may be clear from the following image. This is a magnified view. Imagine that the spectral display is made of tiny squares called pixels. We cannot see the pixels in this image. The pixels are corresponding to a specific moment in time in a specific frequency shift or velocity. The brightness of a pixel is proportionate to the number of the blood cells causing that frequency shift at that specific point in time. The pixel in this region are bright white. It means that a large number of blood cells have corresponding velocity about 
4041 centimeter per second in this region in that moment while point number two which is here it shows that no or very few blood cells have the corresponding velocity at this region and that is almost 10 to 12 centimeter per second while the pixel at number three which is gray meaning that moderate number of blood cells have the corresponding velocity and that is about 35 36 centimeter per second i think it is now clear but we should remember that the brightness of each pixel is proportionate to the relative number of blood cells with a specific velocity at a specific moment in time since we know the brightness of the pixel also shows the distribution of flow energy or power at each moment in time the spectrum display is also called a power spectrum going back to the previous image flow direction the direction of flow is shown in relation to the spectrum baseline this is the baseline which is 0 cm per second flow toward the probe is above the baseline and flow away from the probe or transducer is below this baseline here we can see the number 40 bears a minus sign so it is indicative of flow away from the probe or away from the baseline and therefore this is called negative doppler shift the relation between flow direction and doppler baseline may be reversed by the operator but remember flow toward a transducer will always be represented by positive velocity or frequency values peak velocity envelope the peak velocity throughout the codec cycle is shown with this blue or green line based on the envelope a numeric output is provided at the bottom left showing the peak systolic velocity mean that is 109 centimeter per second and minimum diastolic velocity which is 13.2 centimeter in many ultrasound machines automatically calculate the resistivity index and also the pulsitivity index another term which is displayed here that is pulse repetition frequency or prf here we see that prf is 1000 hertz while on this side the prf is 6250 hertz the prf for the color flow image is shown at the left side which is 1000 hertz or cycles or pulses per second while the PRF for the spectrum Doppler is much higher and that is 6250 hertz and this is shown on the right side of this image this difference of PRF illustrates the fact that the color flow image is based on the average Doppler frequency shift or velocity while the spectral Doppler values are shown as absolute without averaging. A higher PRF is needed for the spectral Doppler to ensure that systolic velocities are shown accurately without aliasing.
Thank you very much. Hope the illustration is helpful for clinical application. Thank you very much. If liked, please subscribe my YouTube channel, Shaquille Health Society. Thank you.